prime, but you see that AP is negative. So what's the sign of this function? So this is a question that has been raised by Mazur uh, in his in his survey paper on the Sadote conjecture, published in the bulletin of the AMS. And Sarnak answered. Look first at the sign of uh, something easier. So uh, log x over root x sub a p of e over root p. Doesn't look easier, but it is. Maybe there's a minus sign here. Okay, so why is it easier? Because this is a sum of cosine. Okay, so from the Fourier theory point of view, it's not very hard. Whereas this function here is pretty much a, a, an indicator function, which from the Fourier point of view is harder to uh, handle. And this comes from the Riemann hypothesis. So, how much time? Two minutes? Okay. So people have studied that uh, this Chebyshev type question. Uh, so Sarnak, Sorelli, studied that question. And conditionally on well on uh, some Riemann hypothesis and uh, a weak form of a linear independence, which is really only a bounded multiplicity condition on the non-real zeros of the L function uh, relevant to that setting, which is the S of A L function. cover the link between uh, highly biased high bias say for this kind of a uh, function here and uh, high analytic range Okay, so I wanted to say more about this, but time's running out. Daniel, hope you're not mad. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let me, uh, so I, I hope by now you, uh, you've all seen that uh, the results I've stated, stated are all conditional on very big assumptions, very big conjectures, okay? So the next, probably number four, uh, variant is geometric analog slash unconditional results. Okay, so uh, that's, uh, that follows the, uh, the philosophy that uh, Jordan Ellenberg told us about at the beginning of the conference. Uh, so you're working over Q or uh, in the number field setting. It it's, might be fruitful to uh, consider the a geometric counterpart, which is something analogs over uh, function fields. And in our case here, things are much easier in this uh, geometric uh, setting. So. Uh, for instance, so uh, instead of 
these uh, characters. Look at Sky uh, FQC over N. This is a polynomial, fixed polynomial, non-zero and then on x of t. Okay, so let's look at these characters. Let's define an L function for them. And uh, the nice, nice thing is that the, the relevant L function here is a polynomial. One plus t g of t. Okay, so uh, they conjecture so. Right, so this is almost cheating, right? So we have an L function, which is a polynomial that it almost sounds too easy to believe, but it's true. Uh, and the other good news is that. We know about the roots, uh, the, at least the modulus of the roots of this polynomial. So RH holds uh, thanks to the, the uh, theorem in this setting. Right, so. Uh, Young Shun Cha developed the analogy, uh, this analogy, and obtained the exact uh, transpositions uh, obtained uh, exact same uh, statements as. Rubinstein and Sarnak. No, not the exact thing. Uh, there's nothing special with one and three mod four in the, in the setting, but mm, something natural analogs. And of course, uh, less conditionally because you don't need uh, this. This is a theorem, but it's still under LI. So a version of LI of linear independence. But of course, once again, since the L function is a polynomial, Li is something much easier to control. Okay. And so let me finish by mentioning function field analog to uh, elliptic curves. So variance three continued. Function field analog for elliptic curves. Okay, so again, start with an elliptic curve y squared equals x cubed. So say it's the x, so it's unit t. And this time it's going to be over f q of t. Uh, a, B, uh, polynomials. Okay, so what does it mean to reduce, to, to look at FP points of this? Doesn't mean anything, of course, but you can translate it to uh, uh, primes correspond to places of uh, QT. So either uh, infinity or uh, manic irreducible polynomials. Okay, and uh, so let's call this place as a V. Okay, and then uh, V is a place of good reduction. Uh, e. E, so the re reduction mod V of E over FV is an elliptic curve 
over. So Fv is the residue field on V. Fut is a finite extension of Fq uh, degree degree of V. Okay, and so now we are back to uh, elliptic curves over finite fields. So we have a Hasse bound. Than two Q zero two, where uh, E V F V is Q degree V plus one minus A V. Okay, and so uh, Chebyshev type question. Sarnak style would be uh, look at x or q, the degree of x or two, some uh, v good of degree less than x, and av of f over Okay, so what's the sign of this? Probably there's a minus sign again, uh, sign of the Okay, so there are two ways we can start investigating this question again, as in the previous settings. Either uh, look at the general, uh, the, the so-called generic typical case in, so in first define it maybe, or look at particular families of uh, elliptic curves, okay. Okay, so let me address, I won't, I won't have time to address the first one let me just uh, give the necessary notation to, uh, to write down the theorem regarding the second one. So uh, a way to do, uh, to address the second question is to uh, do things uh, on average. So we look at a family of uh, elliptic curves. So with the same notation as there, so we still have a Weierstrass model. Uh, we pick an f, an f q of t, non-zero, and we look at e f given by y squared x cubed plus a of t f of t uh, squared maybe, x plus uh, b of t f of t cubed. So it's a call, so called quadratic twist of E by F. It has discriminants F to the sixth time discriminant of F, discriminant of E, sorry. Right? Okay, so as soon as we have an F, we can form a new elliptic curve this way. Maybe it's not, it's not new, depending on uh, whether f is a square or not. But still, we have possibilities. So uh, what's the index set that we uh, choose? Uh, so it's going to be, so for any, let me describe the f points of this set for any ex finite extension, uh, any extension of fq. So uh, it FD of F is uh, 
the set are polynomials, coefficients in f of degree d, uh, that are prime to uh, delta and square root. All right, so what's good uh, with this family? Many good things with this family. Uh, so it, it was defined and uh, first studied uh, by Katz. One interesting thing is that uh, is that uh, the degree of the L function of E F where F of T. N of t as a polynomial. So I told you quickly earlier that the L functions appearing are polynomial. Uh, depends on d and q, but not on n. Okay, so here I should said that f is in f q n of t. All right, so it's good for us because we have a free parameter and we can vary. So what's the result we, that we obtain for this family? So for, uh, so we find so the density, which is relevant to this setting, uh, which is in this case easier because it's the functional field setting. So we can do, uh, we can do natural density, uh, sum uh, x less than n, t, uh, t x positive, So our theorem, so this is cha, theorem V, and myself. So it says that, let me check what it says. There exists T. Uh, such that proportion of f in fd of fqn for which delta of ef exists and uh, delta of ef smaller than c over e t is at least y minus big O of n log q over q n c e t d to the minus q. So dependencies are, so this depends only on d and e and uh, C E only depends on E. Okay, so it's it's a bit it's a bit involved as a statement. So uh, uh, let me suggest a way to uh, read it. Uh, okay, so what we want is that this is small. Okay, so the delta E F is close to one half. So it means that we want D to be big. Okay, and that there's a risk if D is too big, this might be big. So first make D very big, and then let N be big enough so that this is very small. Okay, so that this actually uh, means something like, typically the bias on average over this family doesn't exist, there's no bias. It's uh, density is close to one half. Okay, okay, so that's, 
uh, that's the thing we had in mind because this is completely uh, unconditional. And uh, this is, if you think of D here as being the analog of the conductor, remember the, uh, one of the results of Sarnak Rubinstein, uh, dissipation of uh, the bias when conductor grows to infinity. So this is, this is a possible analog for this. Okay, thank, thank you. Completely biased with uh, one? Yeah. yeah, it's possible with uh, So that's the non uh, orange uh, thing. So there's a family of uh, elliptic curves. And uh, Q is uh, Q is a pair of P, say. And uh, there's a, some assumption with D at two divide P n plus one plus some n. Okay, and for uh, for the choice of parameters, Q P R. So this is A of D. So, so D is a parameter as well. Uh, we find a race with a density that corresponding density equal to one. But we sh also show that uh, within this family, we can, we, can have ne we can never reach zero, whatever the, the choice of parameter. We can do less than epsilon, but not zero. I mean that you, fi you fix an epsilon, and then you can choose the parameters in such a way that the density attached to uh, the, cor the corresponding elliptic curve that you get is less than epsilon. Uh, oh, so uh, oh man. so it depends a lot on the on the setting. Yeah, so I'm sure Daniel knows very precisely. So I, I can't answer precisely. So lo lower bounds uh, on the bias. Is there is there always a bias? Yeah. So it's, I mean it's something it's always away from one half one side or the other. Okay. <laughs> so he said, one over square root Q. One over square root Q is your lower bound. I think he doesn't hear you. Can you say yeah? Yeah. Two, two characters? Are there examples with a uh, high bias? Yes. Uh, no, I don't think. No, I think it's impossible. Huh? Yeah. So, so is that Sarnak who proved it or yourself? No idea. I don't know. Probably again, uh, Daniel knows more than me. But uh, in the, well, in the what I can tell you is that in the function field setting, this would be equ equivalent to instead of looking at primes uh, at polynomials up to a certain uh, degree, to looking at primes with prescribed degree. 
And we know that's a more difficult question uh, to address. We, well, for now, we, we've not been able to do it. Oh yeah, this is, um, people have done that, huh? Kevin Ford? Yeah, I think it's, it says no. I, I can't tell you the results. Of, uh, yeah. Uh, I think, well, yeah. I couldn't say more right now, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a control on it. Yeah, I cannot tell you which one it is. But it, it can be made more explicit. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can't uh, tell you that for sure. I can check and tell you uh, later. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So this is the same kind of uh, heuristics of growth of the rank uh, compared with the uh, conductor. Exactly. 